Hey y'all, it's Tanya from her workshop. Welcome back to the new people, welcome. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna frame out a mirror to help with our closet we do. All right y'all, so in keeping with the theme of the closet, we're gonna use some more of these uh, one by three and a half pine boards to frame out this mirror. All right y'all, so I kinda got everything laid out, so let me explain to you what I got here. I've got a very thin piece of plywood here that we're going to cut down into some strips. And this is gonna make up the back of this mirror. All right, and then we're gonna use these, of course, but I also have some very thin strips of wood because I want it to sit close to the mirror. And then I'll, I'll put this on top so it'll kinda be a little flush. I didn't have plywood that was long enough to cover it. So you can see I have a, another piece of plywood here. I had to go into my scrap bin to find something that kind of was the same thickness. We'll join that together some kind of way. And then here, this is a cheap little mirror that was here stuck to the back of the closet door when I got here. So I like the roundness of it, but we're going to give it a little sharper edge. I have some triangles. I'm going to cut these from one of these. All right, so this is what we got to work with. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue on here and then we're gonna use some staples and a brace. And it's gonna look flimsy at first, but once I get all the other components together, it's gonna be quite sturdy, all right? Trust me. And all I'm gonna do is put some staples down in there just like that, okay? It's gonna work out fine. What I did with these thin little strips is I cut them down. And the main reason I cut them down is because they were severely twisted and I wanted to see if, if I cut them, if they would kind of still work for me. And they do. And the mirror will sit here. And it will be centered in the middle. And then the other ones will go on each side. 